I've got three rectangles here, and I also have their, their dimensions. I have their height and their width. And in fact, this one right here has the same height and width, so this is actually a square. So let's think about how much space they each take up on my screen. And since we're doing everything in terms of meters, since all of the dimensions are in meters, I'm going to measure the area in terms of square meters. So let's see how many square meters I can fit onto this yellow rectangle without going outside of its boundary and without overlapping. So I can fit one square meter. Remember, a square meter is just a square where its length is one meter and its width is one meter. So that's one square meter, two, three, four, or five, five, and six square meters. So we see here that the area, that the area is six square meters. Area is equal to six square square meters. But something might be jumping out at you. Did I really have to sit and count one, two, three, four, five, six? You might have recognized that I could view this as really two groups of three. And let me make that very clear. So for example, I could view this as one group of three, one group of three, and then another group of three. Now, how did I get groups of three? Well, that's because the width here is three meters. So I could put three, I could put three square meters side by side. And how did I get the two groups? Well, it's two meters. This has a length of two meters. So another way that I could have essentially counted the, these six things is I could have said, look, I have a length of two meters, so I'm going to have two groups of three. I'm going to have two groups of three. So I could multiply two times three, two times three, two times two of my groups of three, and I would have gotten six. And I would have gotten six. So I could, and you might say, hey, wait, is this just a coincidence that if I took the, the height or if I took the length and I multiplied it by the width, that I get the same thing as its area? And no, it's not. Because when you took the, the length, you essentially said, well, how many rows do I have? And then you say, when you multiply it by the width, you're saying, well, how many squares do I, or how many of these, how many of these square meters can I fit into a row? So this is a, a, really a quick way of counting how many of these square meters you have. So you could say that two meters multiplied by three meters, multiplied by three meters, is equal to six square meters, is equal to six square square meters. Now you might say, hey, I'm not sure if that always applies. Let's see if it applies to these other rectangles right over here. So based on what we just saw, let's take the length, four meters. Let's take the length, four meters, and multiply by the width, and multiply by two meters, two meters. Now four times two is eight. So this should give us eight square, eight square meters. Let's see if this is actually the case. So one, two, three, four, five, and you see it's going in the right direction, five, six, seven, seven, and eight. So the area of this rectangle is indeed eight square meters. And you could view this as four groups of two. So you could literally view this as four groups of two. That's where the four times two comes from. So you could view it as four groups of two, like this. Or you could view it as two groups of four. So one group of four, right over here. So you could view this as two times four. And then two groups, two groups of four. I want to draw it a little bit cleaner. Now, you could probably figure out what the area of this rectangle is actually a square, because it has the same length and the same width. We multiply the length, three meters, times the width, so times three meters, to get three times three is nine. Nine square, nine square meters. Nine square meters. And let's verify it again, just to feel really good about this multiplying the dimensions of these rectangles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine. So it matches up. We figure out how many square meters can we, can we cover this thing with without overlapping, without going to the boundaries. We get the exact same thing as if we multiplied three times through. If we multiplied the length times the width in meters.